guys? Back for another one here. As you can tell by the title, we're gonna pull the Verk line rear end out. Um, it's just sitting there. And we're gonna start disassembling the parts that I'm not gonna use on it, uh, like the hubs and the old diff, axles and the control arms I'm gonna use from my S3. And the other stuff I'm gonna either try and sell or just throw away, but there's bushings in the control arm and the, um, the knuckles, like uh, spherical that I'm going to need to press into my current ones on the S3. I would use the ones that are on there, on there but the hubs and, and the sensors, all that stuff is like 80,000 miles on it and the control arms have some rust on it. I'm not sure if the lengths are the same. I'm sure they are, but they're like kind of, you know, beat up and rusty. So I might as well just put the new stuff on, press those bushings into these. It's a pretty simple task. But uh, I got to pull it out and get it done. And I also need to drain the transmission fluid out of the dog box. Um, hopefully getting shipped out this week so yeah we're gonna hop to that but first things first gotta play musical cars gotta get three gotta move three cars so i can get to my stuff so i'm gonna knock that out and get to work now that all the stuff's out of the way you guys can uh see the rear end just hiding out back here and uh, we gotta get these knuckles out and this off and of course the diff out we're gonna keep these bushings for the next one and uh, obviously the axles I think the hardest part here is gonna be getting these axle nuts out hopefully they're not too seized um, I'm gonna try and sell these rotors there's like barely any miles on these rotors and these I sweep 2000 pads um, hopefully I can sell those locally keep the uh, the brake lines, actually yeah, I might just get rid of those too. We'll see. Uh, I forget what I took that thing off for. Anyway, let's pull this bad boy out and get to wrenching. All right, after inspecting here for a while, trying to get a mental note of all the things I need to order. ShopDap had sent me a whole list of part numbers for like everything in the rear end like hardware wise so I'm gonna need to order another uh, hardware for this hardware for uh, I probably reuse a lot of that but I'm gonna need new diff hardware new actually I have axle hardware actually, there's no axle bolt in there right now interesting um, a couple other things not a whole lot but what we're gonna disconnect from the camber arm, the camber arm, toe arm, get the axles off, we'll get this control arm off, both ends, and uh, we'll get the rotors off as well. Like I said, I'm going to try and sell these. They got a little surface rust, but they're practically new. Like, they're barely freaking used. Not even like a whole heat cycle on them, probably. Had like half a half, half of a track day, not even half, like half a lap at autocross on them before I split a turbo in half. And all the rest was just street driving, so you know the rears don't really get that much uh, heat in them anyway. I'm going to get the diff off here. Shouldn't be too bad. Now I need to press the bushings. There's spherical bushings right here, right in there, and then the same one, the other one there, and right here. That's what I need to press out. And all the Verkline arms will stay, and I'll put in my own diff. Uh, this and these should be good to go I'm excited making good progress here holy crap we're zoomed in let's zoom out if you got the back shot here got the toe arms off got the control arms off just throwing tape on things so that the bolts don't come out so I know exactly where the bolts go. This one was actually, I put tape on this because um, this one was loose. So the alignment shop I went to um, didn't tighten that up. So that's interesting to see. But now I know since working at Volkswagen for a while, I can do all the alignment shit myself now. And the uh, auto hobby on base here at Langley, they have an alignment rack. So I'll be able to go in and do my own alignments as much as I want to now. Um, I said, I am missing, I'm just going to get new ones for each of these and probably new ones for these as well. They're only, I think they're all like $1.50 or $2 a piece, so I might as well just replace 
as much as possible. While it's flipped on its side here, I'm going to cut off this bushing, get this, um, this one out. Uh, the axle nuts are already out, and I didn't realize it, so that helps a lot. I think you take the brake, um, the brakes off still, and uh, I need to mark on the pads what side they go to, and then I'm going to post these rotors up for sale. But, uh, yeah, so far so good. Well, I didn't even have to take the axles off of the diff. Kind of just popped it out here. Um, now I can just kind of move the subframe out of the way. Oh, try not to scrape it up so much. So you need to get the control arms off of there and get the bushings pressed out. Here's the bushings I was talking about on the knuckles. Um, there's spherical bushings down in there that need to be pressed out and pushed into the One's on the S3, same with this side, and uh, yeah, so we have a diff here, and some axles. I'm about to take off these, uh, whatchamacallit, these rotors and brakes, um, and then just pop the hub off of there. That way we can, uh, it'll be easier to push the bushings out, but pretty simple day. Still need to drain this bad boy, hopefully shipping out this week, but I need to cut that little thing off, but yeah. That was kind of easier than what I thought it was going to be. It's nice when things like that happen. Fun day in the garage. I thought it would be a lot colder. Here I am wearing this full on winter suit and I'm breaking a sweat. It's good. Very happy. Making a little bit of progress. Wish uh, I ordered some parts for the S3, some uh, 034, what do they call it, ball joints that I camber and uh, fix the roll center. I was hoping they would have been here for the weekend so I could toss them on but I don't know maybe they'll be here by next weekend and we can toss them on. That should be the next video So I got some other parts in and already installed but there was a slight error on the manufacturing side it doesn't really affect it I mean the whole point of it is to look pretty and it's technically backwards uh, you guys will see in the next video but I'm happy about this. I just need to do a couple more things here and we can slide the subframe back under here and then clean up this mess. Hopefully someone will come and pick this up soon because I, I really don't want it in my garage. So I'm going to bag it up, put it on the side of the house, uh, at least keep the rain out of it. And uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Got most of the stuff. Put back away here. I was going to go ahead and take the brakes off and stuff, but then I realized if I can just sell all of this together, it was just me doing this would be pointless if I can just sell it all together. I'm looking for a thousand for everything. Now, mind you, you don't get the Verkline stuff. None of the Verkline stuff except for the bushings that are still in the knuckles, which I'll show you right now. The bushings alone are $300 for the set. Um, they have collars that I have in a bag over there, just like these. Um, and I have these in, in both arms. So, uh, also got ECS two-piece rotors. There's maybe 3,000 miles on these. They've been just sitting for months and months and months. I sweep 2,000 pads, plenty of meat on them, barely used. <laughs> so it'd be full brakes, the arms with the bushings. Okay, you get the... OE subframe and toe arms, all the arms that are the OE stuff, and then the Haldex un diff unit axles. Uh, the only thing it doesn't have on the Haldex is the ECU that goes here. I sold that because it had the tune on it. It was an easy $500. So I'll take a thousand for everything. And mind you, I can't just do that. I can't, can't just come pick it up. What, what I want to do is get 300 down so I can order the new spherical bushings and you would get this subframe that's on the car currently and the toe arms and control arms off of this one. I'm keeping these lower arms here and these knuckles to swap in to that subframe. So everything else will go. If that makes sense. I feel like that's a damn good deal. Really don't want to ship it. Um, 
that's what I'm trying to avoid. But if you're looking to do an all-wheel drive swap, um, here it is. So I'm going to hold off on pressing these bushings out. I'm going to post this stuff up for sale and hopefully get someone to buy it. I got a couple people already blowing me up on Instagram. So by the time you guys see this tomorrow, I might already have somebody locked in. But it was a fun video to make. Um, might make another video. If no one bites this week, I'll come back and uh, pull some more of the stuff off and push these bushings out and just start. I mean, that's really it. Sell these rotors separately and the pads and go from there. Um, just looking for an easy couple bucks. I can turn around and put that money back into the car. Um, there's a handful of things that I would like to purchase. Um, need some chassis stiffening so that's exactly what that money will go to um, a, a rear brace and a front brace uh, to help out a little bit with the car and really the car i mean suspension wise it's it's getting pretty close to being where i want it once those um which we'll call it's come for the front the ball joints now i'm gonna get the 034 tops for it and i think i'm gonna get a uh which we'll call it controller dcc controller and we'll have enough camber up front and the roll center will be corrected hopefully and the car's not slammed so i shouldn't really have to deal with bump steer in the front too much and the rear bump steer is already taken care of with all the brake line stuff that's going in the back i will still need brake lines brake fluid better pads um a couple other things but really i mean the car feels great now i don't think it's going to take all too much to get it dialed in like decently and the power that it makes already is phenomenal. Like I think just a stage one tune and a trans tune on this with all the suspension, it's going to be pretty, 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 really competitive at autocross. So that's where I'm standing for now. You guys know me. I'm going to want them going crazier in the future. But for now, that's the plan. Um, not going to go crazy with trying to lighten it and do a bunch of dumb stuff that makes it drivability stupid. You know, I still got a baby. I got to carry around in this thing and all that. I show you guys the tire she got on the M3. This thing is so damn meaty. Look at this. She's got camera died while I was doing that, but she got new side markers on both sides. And then these damn these meaty motherfuckers. Look at that. They look so good. Oh my gosh. I wish it would really get the definition on camera how just sexy that car is. Man. Alright. Well, I'm going to clean up a little bit more over here, and then uh, i got to figure out a way to gotta drain all the food out of this train. It's getting on my floor, and I can't shit on it, so it's right there. This will be easy. Well, wasn't the most exciting video in the world, but got a little bit of work done today in the garage. Just seriously can't wait for autocross. Got about two weeks, I think, two weekends from today. She'll be on track. Um, steering wheel should be here by then. The... Baldwin should be here by then. The future should be here by then. And then soon after, we'll get all this Brookline stuff in the car. And uh, we'll really, really get at it. I don't know how these PS4Ss are going to act on course. Uh, she loved them for autocross. I never really ran with them. I was always like a RE71 kind of guy. So we'll see how these tires do. I don't think they're going to, I don't think I'm really going to like them. A lot of people say good things, but I don't. I don't know. We're gonna. I think I'm gonna wind up going to the Falcon RT660. Um, but we'll see. A lot of things to do this season to dial the car in. Car in. Be the first full season out here in Virginia. Um, really show these guys what a Texas racer is all about. Born and raised for racing um, in Texas. So we'll see how the S3 really compares out there. There's a couple golf golfers around here that are pretty quick to go to VIR and stuff and. A lot of really cool cars that were out there. The only event I did last year with the Virginia crew was in the M3. I didn't do too well. A lot of her bushings are just totally blown. We need to do uh, pretty much all the bushings in that car. So I, I had a good time, but I didn't do as well as I should have. And then and again, it was on like all season tires and alignments low out of whack just because of the bushings are so bad. Like they're really bad in the back. So anyway. Super excited for all that. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you throw a thumbs up. Stay tuned for more content. And I'll catch you on the, on the, catch you on the what? Catch you on the flip-flop.